people fly to Minneapolis and then to International Falls and you cross the border and in a 15 or 20 minute airplane flight you're at a you know a big remote lake that has no roads to it. We've eaten so well here. I mean, Brett is just a great cook. Um, and they took us to amazing places, put us on the fish. It's like they exceeded my expectations. I had never, ever experienced pulling in a fish and then having a bigger fish trying to eat that fish. That northern one was probably 26 plus pounds. And just to see that, it's like, oh my God. Boom, next thing you know, I was catching one, and then I caught another one, and then another one. I ended up uh, catching a lot of fish. And when you're out here and you're looking over the water, you can hear the loons off in the distance, and then you'll see the eagles flying around, and boy, it's very inspirational. It looks like um, the old James is back. Some nights the loons, you know, be out here and they talk to each other. I mean, I don't know what they're saying in loon language, but maybe you come over here, I'll kick your ass. I don't know. <laughs> We have a very healthy population of both walleyes and lake trout, which is kind of rare. Uh, we're really blessed with, with the populations in this lake as well as the size. Outdoor Foundation, when they approached me, I, was, I couldn't wait to do something. It's a good chance to show your support for the veterans. So February 3rd of 2011, I got hurt over in Sangin, Afghanistan, which is in Helbed province. Unfortunately, we were on a foot patrol and somebody else had stepped on an IED, probably a foot or so directly, a like kitty corner for me. Within a seven month deployment, we lost 25 guys. Over 200 of us got hurt keep doing what you guys are doing, it's, it's helping us. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Woo oh! Oh! Nice Holy job, God, man. I think I've cleaned over 200,000 walleyes, which I'm figuring that out. That sounds like a lot, but it's not when you're in your 70. He first fished this lake in like 1948, but he's had a place on this lake since I believe the 60s. I'll be there every year to do it. If they want to come up, my place is ready. <laughs>